sold thousands of lots to people willing to exchange on the day and complete within 28 days. Property auctions made quick, easy and simple. Clive Emson Land and Property Auctioneers. Hello everybody and can you believe it just like that we're into March and we're straight into the Clive Emson March auction already. I thought Paul Bridgman is with me. Paul, I only feel like we finished the February auction a few days ago. <laughs> it, does, it does feel a bit like that. We don't, we don't have 12 months, we have eight auctions. So uh, time flies really quick. Uh, but yeah, no, we're, we're back already and uh, the, the uh, March auctions are live on the website and uh, you know, the, the early interest has been, been good. So uh, it'll be good to run through the lots today and, uh, and give people a flavour of, what, of what's coming up. Exactly. Now, a bit of a clue, of course, the holding screen there. We're going to run through lots 1 to 49. There are a total of 139 lots, though. Uh, so do head over to cliveemson.co.uk to view the entire catalogue. There is going to be a, a few, a fair few other shows, actually, uh, throughout the course of the next uh, week and a half. Because bidding goes live when, Paul? Bidding goes live um, on Monday the 20th of March, and the auction will end on the 22nd of March. And... Uh, the time will be running down from the from, from when they go live um, on the on the bidding platform um, on the twentieth, and uh, as I say, from eleven o'clock on the twenty second, um, you'll be able to place your bids up until that point. Lot one will finish at eleven o'clock on the twenty second. Every lot thereafter, so lot two at three minutes past, lot three at six minutes past um, eleven, um, all the way through to lot one hundred and thirty nine, far later on that evening when we're all thinking that I wish I could go home happy too. Ah, <laughs> yes, indeed. And now, if you do have a question at any time, it is very, very important. Call the number below to speak to a member of the team, or as we've said before, do visit cliveemson.co.uk. Now, I've got something pretty cool to show you here. Paul, you, you don't know I'm about to do this, but if anybody does want to visit Clive Emson and just can't be bothered to type it out, which, let's be honest, typing, wow, what a drag in 2023. Uh, two options for you. There's a link in the body of this broadcast. Give it a click, take you straight through to that website there, or... How cool is this? Everybody get your phones out right now and scan this QR code right there on screen right now. That will take you straight to the to see the full Clive Emson March catalogue. All 139 lots going under the hammer. Do you like that, Paul? Do you like it's just for you that? Just for me. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, nice. So, it ties in nicely with our with, with a lot of our marketing. We're, we're updating the marketing at the moment. Um, and uh, there's a lot more sort of QR codes and that sort of thing, you know, coming in for people, for buyers and sellers, you know. So, yeah, use your phone, then you'll be able to find the relevant information on the other websites. But there you go. There's the uh, the the, the, um, the QR code to get straight to the uh, the, the, the full ebook catalog, and you'll see all the lots we've got coming up for sale. Fantastic stuff, uh, snazzy stuff indeed. In fact, uh, let's get into the catalogue, shall we? As I said, this is going to bring you lots 1 to 49. We're just going to show you one image of it. Paul's going to give us a little bit of information. And at any point, do comment below as well. If you have a question about any particular lot and are happy to share it, please do comment below. We can see the comments. Or if you want to do it privately, get in touch with Paul and the Clive Emson team. Uh, by, head over to the website. You've seen the phone number, uh, email, however, however you want to get hold of these guys. Uh, you're, pre you're pretty accessible, aren't you, Paul? Well, that's right, yeah. I mean, you, you, can, you can get hold of us. All our um, contact details are on the website for all the individual negotiators as well. So we can always, uh, can always dial down to who you, need to who you need to speak to. But otherwise, just give the office a ring on the usual number. Um, and uh, as I said, from there, um, we'll put you in touch with the right person. Radio, let's get into it then. And for our very first lot, lot one of the Clive Emson auction is March auction takes us to Gillingham. That's right, Gillingham, uh, number 21, Cornwall Road, Gillingham. Um, it's a, a three bedroom mid terrace house. I need a little bit of improvement, uh, but uh, going price here at £200,000 plus. Fantastic. Uh, lot number two, we're off to Margate in Kent. That's right, Margate, uh, two bedroom garden flat. Um, in uh, Madeira Road in Margate, guy price here one hundred and forty to one hundred and forty-five thousand um, pounds. So yeah, a two-bedroom uh, garden flat. It's quite nice actually, isn't it? Uh, it is, it's yeah. very very quaint indeed. A uh, little grove now, Perrin Downs. Yeah, that's right. Here we are, Little Grove and uh, Grove Lane, Perrin Downs, uh, down in Penzance, a semi-detached bungalow in need of updating. Uh, guy price here at one hundred and seventy-five thousand pounds plus. Now I can tell you lot four is one of my favourites already. Have a look at this, flat six, the church. There's your clue in Eastbourne. 
That's it. A flat six, the church. Um, so it's a, a flat within the a converted uh, converted building. I've always said these uh, these buildings make fantastic uh, projects, fantastic conversions. Um, I was lucky enough to work up in Glasgow for a little while, and some of the uh, the conversions of the, the the churches up there were absolutely stunning. Um, anyway, this one is a, a two bedroom flat in need of uh, redecoration. Uh, guide price um, of ninety five to one hundred thousand pounds. Um, six Sealand Road, in, uh, sorry, Sealand Place in uh, in Eastbourne, East Sussex. So nice part of the world, nice looking building. Just needs a bit of updating and freshening up. Uh, certainly a winner there, definitely. Uh, right, let's go back to Gillingham for lot five. Yeah, lot five, uh, another house for refurbishment. Guide price of one hundred and ninety to two hundred thousand. Number eight Grange Road in Gillingham. Excellent. Start straight into lot number six, three Queen Street. Yeah, three Queen Street in Folkestone uh, is a four bedroom property with potential. Um, it's got a guide price of 165 to 175 thousand pounds. Four bedrooms over over three floors. Um, yeah, a, a great great little project. Yeah, it certainly is. Now, one thing we love here at the Clive Emerson Auction is, is <coughs> a difficult street name. Uh, so, lot number seven. Over to you, Paul. Yeah, this property in Camborne um, is uh, <laughs> uh, a mixed residential and commercial. Trilla Warwick, Trilla Warwick, 74, Trilla Warwick, price of 165,000 plus, is currently let at £21,480 per annum. I tell you what, nothing better professional you, Paul Bridgman, I'm telling you. Uh, <laughs> lot number eight, here we go, back to Maidstone in Kent. Maidstone in Kent, uh, one of the house of 215,000 to 220,000, it's a two bedroom house. Uh, with first floor a bathroom, a separate WC. Excellent. Right, right we're going to head to the seaside now. Uh, a very nice place. Clacton on Sea in Essex used to go there as a kid. Yeah, that's it. Clacton on Sea is a detached bungalow for improvement. Uh, if you look at the website on this one, you'll see it's got a nice long plot as well. Uh, great gardens. There's a, lo a lovely, uh, a, 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 a thing. in the garden, there's a, 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 a sort of outbuilding or an A frame uh, garden. Um, garden room and it, it, it's a really sweet little thing but you say the bungalow um, itself uh, it's nice big accommodation needs some updating and improvement but there may be potential there to develop that site uh, maybe you know, truck maybe get two on there who knows um subject to all the necessary consents of course so this is 59 st john's road in clacton just on the outskirts of clacton so nice and convenient for you know, the supermarkets the uh, shopping village guy price two hundred and forty thousand pounds plus Fantastic, I like that. Now, anybody who's tuned into our shows over the last 12 months or so, it's almost been a year now, Paul, can you believe it, we've been doing this, will know that for some reason, and I can't explain it why, I just love a garage. Who doesn't love a garage? In fact, I'm sat right now in a converted garage. How cool is that? Uh, so let's go to our first lot of garages in the Clive in March auction for lot number 10. Here they are. Yeah, it's, a, it's an unbroken uh, terrace of six garages. Um, in North Devon, South Street in Torrington, North Devon. In fact, guide price forty-five to fifty thousand pounds. All freehold with vacant possession. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it is, these are quite often make uh, good little investments. Fantastic. Uh, we're off to Love Lane now for lot eleven. That's right. Parcel B land south side of Love Lane in uh, Benbridge, Isle of Wight. Uh, freehold land with potential. Guide price at thirty thousand pounds plus. Um, we've got. Uh, uh, planning permission that was actually um, refused um, on appeal, but uh, there may be uh, there may be potential there to, uh, to to look at something else there. Excellent stuff. Let's go to lot twelve, shall we? Woodview. Yeah, Woodview is a detached bungalow for improvement um, and, and repair, um, or maybe even a replacement dwelling, subject to all the necessary consents, of course. Um, nice size plot. Uh, we've got a guide price at two hundred eighty to two hundred ninety thousand pounds. Absolutely. Uh, lot number 13. Uh, unlucky for some, but not for the person who snaps up this one in Brighton. No, that's right. It almost looks like it could be somewhere in the Mediterranean, doesn't it? It does, doesn't uh, it? Yeah. yeah a, little Greek, a little Greek um, uh, sort of uh, uh, cobbled street. Do uh, you get that palm tree bed. with it as well? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. Yeah, A one bedroom uh, town centre house. Uh, it needed a bit, a bit of updating in central Brighton. Uh, but yeah, really, uh, really interesting little property this. Guy price two hundred and seventy-five to three hundred thousand. Number fourteen, Marlborough Street in Brighton. Let's say go to the website. You'll see a lot more images, video content. Um, but yeah, so it'll give you a really good flavour of that. But I say that's a really, really interesting little property. That one, I like that. 
Yeah, it is. It's really cool, really snazzy. Uh, suitable for Brighton as well, actually. It really fits in, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, right, it not number 14, uh, Midhurst. Now, this is a beautiful place, Midhurst. It is. Lovely, lovely part of the world. Uh, Midhurst down in, uh, down in West Sussex, on the way down to... Uh, the, 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 all the way down to Goodwood and all that sort of area. Uh, so it's a period cottage uh, with some land, uh, some properties in need of some renovation. Uh, and a real characteristic of these properties in this area is the yellow window frames. Yeah. I've noticed that when I've been driving around that area. So many of the properties of this sort of age have got yellow window frames. I almost feel like the house is pouting a bit there, Paul, isn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it's, come and get me. Come and get me. <laughs> it has it's its own... Spot. Guy price 425 to 450,000. Real, real chance to make something absolutely stunning out of that building, I think. It certainly is. I think if it was mine, I might paint those windows though a different color, but uh, that's just my personal <laughs> preference. Uh, right, lot number 15. Uh, we're off into Kent. We are. We've got um, an over 65 retirement flat, uh, Roman Court, High Street in Eden Bridge in Kent. Uh, selling on behalf of uh, executors here. Um, got a guide price of just twenty to twenty-five thousand pounds. Oh wow! Really? Yeah, the great like, value. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Jeez. Caught me off guard there a little bit. I wasn't quite expecting that. <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah, but in a good way. In a good way. Uh, lot sixteen. Uh, this is Four Derby Road in Folkestone. Yeah, Four Derby Road, Folkestone. Uh, three bedroom. Uh, sorry, a, th- a three-story house uh, for improvement. Um, what have we got in terms of uh, in, in terms of bedrooms? Uh, got two bedrooms on the on the upper floor. Um, and plenty of other rooms as you go through the building too. So uh, yeah, uh, as I say, do uh, have a look at that one. Lots more in- information on the, on the on the website. With plenty of uh, images and video content. Um, guy price one hundred and fifty to one hundred and sixty thousand pounds. Fantastic. Right, lot number seventeen. Now, interesting fact here, Paul. Uh, when I was uh, at school a long time ago, I used to go to school with a girl called Ruth, and she used to wear a red jumper. Uh, so let's go to Red Roof in Cornwall for lot number 17. That's got to be the worst, most tedious <laughs> one. But no, I'm, sure, I'm sure we'll better that as the day goes on. I'm and sure, we, yeah, it might be difficult. <laughs> so an interest cottage, you need an update. Guide price of £165,000 plus. Uh, lower penance um, in uh, Lana, uh, Red Roof, uh, uh, as you quite rightly pointed out. Um, Cornwall, uh, TR16. Guide price is say 160 Five plus, um, yeah, really nice looking property there. Yeah, now an area that's proven popular in this auction is Folkestone. So let's go back for lot eighteen. Yeah, commercial unit with a long leasehold investment. Um, Guy price of one hundred and twenty to one hundred and thirty thousand pounds. This is number thirteen, Grace Hill in Folkestone, currently let at twelve thousand pounds per annum. Fantastic uh, lot number nineteen. We're back with my favourite garages as well. Here they are. Look at those beautiful. Six garages and land as well, uh, with further potential as well. Guide price at ninety-five to one hundred thousand pounds. This is garages off the square in West Hunton, um, in Maidstone down in Kent, and uh, as I say, the site extends to approximately just under a quarter of an acre. Then you've got six lock-up garages as well, plus car parking spaces, um, but you've got some extra land on the side as well that you might be able to do something else with. Yeah, definitely. Uh, <coughs> right, let's take our first trip over to Gloucester, shall we, for lot twenty. Yeah, um, number 17B, Fox Elms Road in Tuffley, Gloucester. Um, it's an end terrace property with planning uh, for, t- for a further uh, two-bedroom dwelling. Uh, really nice uh, looking, uh, looking area. Uh, guide price of 160 to 180,000. Um, all freehold with vacant possession. Fantastic. Now that's the first 20 in the Clive Emerson March auction. Don't forget this show. We're going to bring you lots of one all the way through to 49. Just a quick reminder that if you do have a question at any point, please do comment below. We can see them. We absolutely want to hear from you. Which is your favourite that you've seen so far? Tell us in the comments below. And don't forget, bidding goes live on the 20th of March to view every single lot going under the hammer, 139 in total. Head over to cliveemson.co.uk. Two options, you, well, three options. You can type it out, but that's so 1999. Or you can click the link in the body of this broadcast, uh, which will take you straight through to the website. Or you can scan this QR code, which is so 2023, uh, right now, and that will take you straight through to the Clive Emson website as well to view every single lot going under the hammer. We're just showing you one image. Uh, there's a lot more on the website, isn't there, Paul, for each lot? Yeah, that's right. So on the website, you've got a full description. You've got um, 
plans, you've got photographs, you've got video content and all, all the lots. Um, have a look at it. Um, also on there, you'll be able to book viewings. Um, also download the legal documents, which is obviously a vitally important part of what, what we need to do, is uh, to download the legal information, get your own legal independent advice on this, um, so you know exactly what it is you're going to be buying come the day of the auction. Excellent. On, on top of that as well, you can also register to bid, of course, because that's what we're here for at the end of the day. Uh, yes, do. That's the most important thing, actually. Register to be. <laughs> do that. <laughs> definitely, definitely do that. Um, or if you just want to keep having a little nose, then feel free. Yeah, you know, have, a, have a little browse around. You know. Don't get me wrong. You know, we, we had nearly 40,000 people watching the auction last time around um, in, in February. So, yeah, as I say, yeah, the, it's, it's immensely popular, not only in, in terms of people logging on and bidding, but people just watching. And, uh, you know, we had people bid from all over the world, 39 different countries. Uh, people logged on a bid from so uh, yeah it's uh, it, it's it, you know it's ever growing and this is uh you know this is a great way of uh, letting people know what's uh, what's coming up absolutely well said paul right now before we crack on as well i've got a little question to ask you paul we always like to ask a, a question a question of the show shall we say and i want to know a little bit more about you paul bridgman so i'm going to give you an option here would you rather live by the sea or in the city that's an easy one by the sea. <laughs> you already do, don't you? <laughs> Nothing's hip to by the sea. But, you know. <laughs> but uh, no, as I've, I've always wanted to live by the sea. As, and my, um, my grandparents used to live up in the northeast of Scotland when I was uh, when I was younger. I used to go and spend all my uh, sort of school holidays up up there. And it was it was right on the right on the coast. It was absolutely gorgeous. I sort of fell in love with it at that point, really. So no, for me, definitely by the sea. Fantastic. I'd actually I'm more of a city boy, to be honest. Uh, even though I live in Bracknell, you know, so <laughs> there you go. Uh, <laughs> which, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> which is just a town, really. But the, there we go. Uh, right, let's crack on, show Anyway, enough about uh, enough about me. Let's go on to lot twenty one. Let's get back into it. This is a beauty as well. Oak Tree Cottage. Yeah, Oak Tree Cottage, um, Ashford Road um, in uh, Ham Street in Ashford. It's a detached five bedroom chalet bungalow in need of um, improvement. There's some. Uh, Outbuildings buildings as well in the uh, in, in the garden. It's a, a nice, uh, nice long rectangular plot. Um, yeah, a nice looking, uh, nice looking property, and has a guide price at three hundred eighty to three hundred ninety thousand pounds. Now, Paul, before we move on to lot twenty two uh, as well, I've already mentioned when I was younger, I went to school with a girl called Ruth. I also went to school with a girl called Pippin, uh, and she used to have some land at the rear of her house. We used to go play in it. So uh, this this yeah. is it, lot twenty two, land rear of Pippins. Hammer of Pippins, yeah. In, uh, I don't know what to say. I genuinely it's don't. not getting any better, is it? In fact, no, it's getting it, worse, it, I think. It's for a detached dwelling. So, Land Rear of Pippins in Bishop's Lane, uh, Ringmere in Lewes. Uh, Lewes or Lewis? We've had this conversation last time. Lewis. Lewis. Uh, and that's in East Sussex, of course. Guide price 300 to £325,000. What a stunning looking building that is to, uh, to create. Uh, that is, yes, absolutely incredible. Uh, right, lot 23, uh, Madeira House, Madeira Road. There we go. Yeah, we've got a, a pair of flats for investment, lot 23, um, or occupation. Uh, so flats one and three, Madeira House, Madeira Road, Sea View um, on the Isle of Wight. Guy price, £300,000 for the both. Great, lot 24, Ashford in Kent. Yeah, Ashford in Kent, a one bedroom, <laughs> fifth floor flat. For improvement, it's number 28, sorry, 26. Uh, Creesfield um, in Ashfield, in Ashford, not Ashfield, Ashford. Guy price at eighty to eighty-five thousand pounds. Selling on behalf of uh, executives on this occasion. Now the Clive Emerson auction, we, we get all sorts, don't we? We've we've had tunnels, haven't we? In the last auction, we've had yeah. forts. Uh, update, and update on the tunnels. Update on the tunnels while you bring that up. Yeah. And they unfortunately didn't sell in the auction. However, I got a note through about half past six last night. Contracts were exchanged last night. So ah. it has been sold. Fantastic. Excellent stuff. Uh, go back, actually, and watch our February show with that. And it, it was one of our feature lots. We do a number of feature lot shows as well where we really knuckle down and focus on one particular lot. They are going to be coming up uh, over the course of the next week and a half. We've got videos to show. We get special guests on. Uh, do go back and watch February's for that because it's a treasure trove, isn't it? That that property. Absolutely. One of my favourites. Definitely. Yeah, it looks, it looks uh... A really interesting, uh, really interesting piece of history. Uh, and what I was trying to say, where I was going with this, is uh, this is cool as well. Lot twenty five, Brook Studio in London. Look at this. That's it, Brook Studio. Uh, it's uh, southwest London, um, in 
Bas Basuto Road, yeah. uh, Basuto Road S SW6, uh, detached commercial premises with potential. Uh, guide price three, sorry, 230 to 250,000 pounds. But uh, studio, who knows you could relocate here? Uh, yeah, I, well, I'd, I'm, I mean, I'd quite like my garage. Uh. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, new studio you know, next to your garage, you, you can have an outside uh, studio as well. That very true, very true. <laughs> uh, right, let's let's carry on. We're off to Devon now. We're off to as they call it down there, Turbo Turn. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> uh, right, uh, house for improvement, block twenty six. Guide price. <coughs> oh, sorry, excuse me. Guide price of one hundred thousand pounds plus. Uh, high, um, high Wellbrook Street in Timberton, uh, Devon. Selling on behalf of executors. Brought to us by a joint auctioneers on this one. Uh, but yeah, really nice, uh, really nice looking property. Um, a bit of work to do, but uh, at a guy price of 100,000, I'm sure that's going to have really good. Impact. I was going to say, yeah, price to sell that one, isn't it? Really is. Um, of course, guide prices from, of course, so uh, right, lot 27, uh, back to Maidstone in Kent. Yeah, detached house for uh, improvement and modernisation. Guide price at 220 to 225 is Hillview, uh, Peel Street in Maidstone. Um, again, thanks to our joint auctioneers for introducing this one to us. Uh, but yeah, a nice big house, um, ready to uh, start the next next part of his journey. Now, talking of uh, being by the sea, let's go back to Margate, shall we? Margate, yeah, land to the rear of um, Northdown Road in Margate. It's got planning for a detached house um, on the on the site there. Uh, again, the elevated views of the uh, of the, uh, the project are available on the website. Going price at forty to fifty thousand pounds, so a nice reasonable price. Um, and uh, it's got planning for uh, uh, what have we got here? Uh, a, a one bedroom dwelling. Uh, but uh, yeah, no, I say it's a, a nice looking, uh, a, a nice looking creation that can be made there. Yeah, it's, if you've got a lot of imagination, you can create something special, can't you? You really can. I struggle oh, to see yeah. these things, but um, that's why. I don't do them, to be honest. Uh, right, lot, lot, I've got zero imagination. Uh, lot 29, flat two, Golden Cross House. Yeah, lot, uh, lot, uh, lot 29, flat two, Golden Cross House, uh, Little London uh, in Chichester, West Sussex. Currently let at £10,200 per annum, and it has a guide price at £130,000 to £140,000. Now, the next lot, Ian, you're going to be in seventh heaven. <laughs> it is garages, isn't it? Uh, it's garages down Dairy Lane. That sounds very nice. It sounds very nice. It's there's seven garages, would you believe? My seven. word. Put, seven, put my seven, name down for them. Seven. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Guy price, 80 to 90,000 pounds. 30,000, lot 30, I should I say. Uh, land and garages uh, to the rear of Dairy Place um, in Dairy Lane in Marden, Tunbridge. And uh, so I say, go to the website, see all the images of the garages, but also the access to it and the, uh, the plan as well of uh, how to access it from the main road. Fantastic. Lot 31. About to Folkestone. This seems to be a popular popular area today, doesn't it? It does, yeah. I think uh, Kevin's, the, uh, Kevin's the man who looks after the Folkestone, so uh, you, you, you'll see Kevin, no doubt, pop up on the, on, the, on the feature lot shows. He's always got a good story as well. So, <laughs> yes. uh, yeah, well, I'm sure there'll be a story behind this one. A, it's a four-bedroom house for, for, for refurbishment. Guide price at £165,000 plus. It's number 44, Garden Road in Folkestone. Um, and it's all freehold with vacant possession. Now we're heading to uh, Paul's neck of the woods here, Chelmsford. Here we are, Paul, for lot 32. That's it. It's a uh, two-bedroom city centre apartment. Uh, guide price at £200,000 plus. Um, it's number 41, Friars House on Parkway in Chelmsford. Um, it's a converted office building. But what a, what a space they've created inside. Look at the internal photos, look at the video uh, content on the website. All the, all the flats there have got really nice parquet wooden floors. Um, oh, and nice. uh, as I say, they've done a really, really good job with the conversion. Uh, yeah, no, it's... Uh, and I wasn't stood in the middle of the road taking photos of flower baskets when I took that photo. <laughs> very, very, that's a very nice photo, actually. High quality. Somebody's really, really thought about that. Was it, was it you, Paul? I did, yes, yeah. You I did. did. I my bus. <laughs> well, I'm glad you did it. I'm glad to. Uh, but the, the photo was worth it, by the way. I have Indeed, to say, yeah. I am very impressed. Perhaps a new career when you decided uh, to hand in the uh, the, the gavel. Uh, right, Lot 33, Paragon House in Maidstone. 
Yeah, this is a Paragon House, uh, Granville Road, Maidstone, uh, currently let at £38,204 per annum. It's an existing uh, commercial site with buildings currently let, and there's also potential for uh, some redevelopment there as well. We've got guide price at five hundred and twenty-five to five hundred and thirty thousand. Um, again, have a look on the website. Much more information available on that. Yeah, just a quick reminder before we move on for everybody. We just give you a very, very, very tiny brief look at one of the images at the full catalogue at cliveemson.co.uk. You can there's more images, there's videos on most of the properties, isn't there? There's the legal packs as well, which is critical. So if you are generally generally interested in any of the properties that you've seen, make sure you go over to the website. There's a link in the body of this broadcast. Give it a click, it'll take you straight through. Download the legal pack. If you've got any questions at all, please do contact the team as well. Contact details are all on the website. Uh, right, uh, we're off to lot 34, and this looks this looks very nice too. Yeah, this is one I think, I think we're gonna do a, a feature lots on this one um, coming up. So we've got a freehold commercial investment. It's a uh, a live music venue, actually, so uh, uh, I'm sure there'll be a few good stories to come out about this one, too. Currently let at £19,000 per annum. We've got a guide price at just £160,000 plus. This is um, units 9 and 9B Brickwood House uh, in Orchard Street in Newport. Um, and, uh, yeah, as I say, really, uh, really interesting uh, looking building and uh, live music venue. Right, I've got a, a challenge for you, Paul for uh, when we do the live bidding <coughs> launch show on the 20th of March. Uh, if you could tell us the most famous band to have played in that venue, that, that's that's what we want to know. We'll find that out, don't you worry. Let's find that out. Right, uh, let's go to a former pumping station. Yes, you heard right, a former pumping station for Lot 35. Just before we do that, let's <laughs> go back to live music bands. I once saw Oasis play um, at the uh, the Army and Navy, which is no longer there. Jim Chelmsford, literally f a few miles from down the road from here. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. It's there amazing go. what you learn. So it's not just an auction show; it's a music show as well. <laughs> if only. <laughs> All right, let's get ourselves back to this uh, pumping former pumping station for Lot Thirty Five. Yeah, so uh, we've got uh, a former pumping station site uh, with development potential. Guy price of 180 to 200,000 pounds. As I say, it's the former pumping station at the Burnham Place in uh, Sittingbourne in Kent. Again, have a look at the website, there's more information on there. Uh, but site extends to just over a quarter of an acre, um, but it's all freehold with vacant possession. Super stuff. Let's hop on the ferry, shall we, and get ourselves back to the Isle of Wight for lot That's 36. Cool. Vendor on the Isle of Wight, number 30, Albert Street, is a freehold um, investment. Guy price is 70,000 pounds plus. Uh, currently let at three thousand one hundred and twenty pounds per annum, so it's less on the on the uh, on the terms of an short shorthold tenancy. Uh, we've got two bedroom um, uh, property there, and uh, uh, as I say, uh, guy price at just seventy thousand pounds. Obviously, yeah, the rent's quite low, but uh, as I say, one that um, you can add to a rental portfolio. Fantastic! Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be long before we went back to Folkestone, and here we go for lot thirty-seven. Lot 37, yeah, Folkestone, here we are in uh, Limage, in just, uh, just outside Folkestone. Uh, it's a semi-detached bungalow for improvement. Guy price at 210 to 220,000 uh, pounds. So lot, lot 37, nice looking property, uh, but just needs a little bit of uh, love and updating. Absolutely right, let's go uh, check out another garage for me, for lot 38. Single freehold lock-up garage, guy price at 10,000 uh, pounds plus. This is lot number 38, of course. Um, it's a garage on, um, on the west of Larkfield Close in Lansing, West Sussex. It's currently let at £900 per hour. Yeah, absolutely. Now, it's been uh, doing a little bit of this today for lot 39. Uh, a bit of snow, but a bit of hailing as we go to Hailing Island for lot 39. It's got worse, hasn't it? It has. Um, <laughs> on my knees, Creek Road. Um, anyway, uh, oh, very good. 39, uh, too many years playing football and rugby and cricket, but uh, uh, two, uh, lot 39, one bedroom flat with parking, guy price of £100,000 plus, number 10 Creek Road, Hayley Island down in Hampshire. Uh, and what, what have we got there? We've got a, uh, a one bedroom flat, um, which is pretty decent. You know, it's, it's one of those that uh, um, you, go, you could either rent out straight away, it's uh, at least hold with vacant possession. That's got car parking as well, um, so great little opportunity there. 
Right, lot number 40. Now, never, ever have I ever felt so sad about not being able to go see this lot. It's All Saints Road for lot 40. See what I did there, Paul? I did, yes. You said this was a music show. I'm beginning to wonder. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that was an All Saints song, wasn't it? I'm sure it, it was. was. Indeed, yes, Thank you. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, freehold uh, house for investment, um, lot 40. It's uh, got a guide price of 90 to 95. Uh, sorry. 190 to 195 thousand pounds plus, uh, and uh, currently let at 9,600 pounds per annum. Uh, this is also road in North Fleet in Kent. Uh, super stuff. Let's go to Tunbridge Wells then for lot 41. Yeah, this is uh, land with planning for a bungalow um, in uh, in, um, in Tunbridge Wells. Uh, land to the rear of Commercial Road in Tunbridge Wells. Guide price of 130 to 135 thousand. Excellent stuff. Lot 42 then. Uh, off to Canterbury. Canterbury, yeah, obviously down again. Uh, uh, Shelmsford uh, Street in, uh, in Charlton, Canterbury. It's an end terrace property uh, with, in need of total refurbishment and modernisation. Uh, guide price 185 to 195,000. All freehold with vacant possession. End terrace house. Uh, yeah, a, a project there for someone to take on. Excellent. Now I was. Uh, we are now off to lot forty-three. Sorry, to go to just check out some land, aren't we? In Royal Tunbridge Wells, so not a million miles away. No, that's right. Royal Tunbridge Wells um, in uh, land to the rear of twenty-five Eric Road in Royal Tunbridge Wells. Um, land with planning consent for a detached dwelling. Guy price at three hundred and thirty thousand pounds plus. Again, have a look at the website. For more information on there, elevations, plans, etc., etc. Um, I'll give you a far greater uh, bit big piece of information on that one excellent now lot 44 uh, ironically i was on the golf course the other day and somebody shouted four as we go to 53 55 4 street in brixham that's right Devon. and uh oh, i'm just being annoyed <laughs> <laughs> i'm trying really hard <laughs> lot 44 uh yeah so that, that, that's the address um uh, property with consent for conversion into two retail and uh, three residential flats um, and you've got a guide price here at £240,000 plus. Again, big piece of uh, property. Do go along, have a look at the, uh, the, the, the website. More information on there. The, the link pack will give more information too. Um, and also give all that information about the planning. Brilliant. Uh, we're starting to get close to the end now of yeah. this show. Remember, it's lots 1 to 49. There is going to be another show, lots 50 to 99, and then 100 to 139. But this is lot 45, 68 Farm Avenue. 68 Farm Avenue in Swanley down in Kent, uh, just off the M25. Um, nice position for access to the A20, um, the, the shopping, the supermarkets, all that sort of thing. Two bedroom and terrace house, going price at two, just £250,000 plus. Uh, it looks good, that actually, Paul. It looks very neat and very well presented. It is, yeah. It's, I mean, it's, it's, it needs a little bit of modernisation and improvement inside, uh, but uh, genuine reason for sale. Uh, private client who uh, just needs to uh, needs to sell and move on excellent okay let's go to 48 manor road then for lot 46 in worthing yeah Worthing. you've got three flats here plus garage um and it's got a guy price at 350 to 375 thousand pounds manor road worthing west sussex it's all currently let at twenty four thousand pounds per annum i say you've got three flats there garage as well um far more information on the website do, do check that out now, I think lot 47 is going to be one of my favourites. Uh, coffee. There you go. Lot 47. How good is that? Coffee one. <laughs> coffee, coffee number one. one. At, uh, 74 High Street, Gosport in Hampshire. The freehold town centre commercial investment. Currently let at £25,000 per annum and has a guide price of £250,000 plus. So a 10% yield on that guide price. That's uh, that looks good value. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Right, lot 48. We've got some more garages. Yay. Yay. Uh, 16 of the, of the little beauties this time, 16 lock-up garages uh, to the rear of nine, uh, sorry, 10, rear of 8 to 10 Man Away in Ashford in Kent. Uh, going price here at uh, 150 to 160 thousand pounds. Excellent. And for our final lot, we, we left the cracker actually to the end, haven't we, for lot 49. Uh, I'm going to let you say it, Paul. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> detached bungalow enjoyed city views and countryside views as well. Um, the guide price here at £295,000 plus. Uh, so we've got Mordros in uh, Trevivan uh, at uh, Trevivan Way 
<laughs> you devil, I know what you've done here. Uh, Rosanton um, in uh, Penzance. Um, so I, I apologise for the pronunciation. Um, Cornwall. I don't. It's is not my. <laughs> it's not my strong point. Uh, I do apologise. So uh, the, please do pick me up. Have a good laugh. Um, ridicule me. I don't mind. Uh, that is again very neat, very it's well lovely looking, presented. Lovely looking isn't it? Actually. Um, so great, you know, great views towards the uh, towards the sea and over the countryside as well. So you know, all, all joking apart, it's a it's a lovely looking building, um, and a really nice, a really nice property. Fantastic. Now that is uh, the first forty nine lots going under the hammer. One through to forty nine. There's a total of one hundred and thirty nine lots going under the hammer. Uh, as we've said before, if you want to view the full catalogue or find out even more information about each of the lots that you've seen or a particular one, there's a QR code right there. Scan it. It will take you straight through to the Clive Emerson website where you can view that full March catalogue. There's also a link in the body of this broadcast. Wherever you're watching it, click it. Again, it will take you straight through to the website uh, if you do want to speak to anybody contact details are on the website for everybody uh, do keep your eyes peeled as well the next show is going to be lots 50 through to 99 there's going to be another one of uh, lots 100 to 139 i'm going to give you a snapshot of every single lot going under the hammer paul uh, thanks for joining us for that one uh, what did you make of my jokes by the way out of 10 Oh, sorry, he's still talking. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> sorry I'm I'll only take that as a 10. Really, really rude, sorry. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm going to say a step. Six. Yeah, I, I, I think you're being generous. <laughs> right, uh, we're going to head off. Don't forget, everybody, uh, cliveemson.co.uk. That is the place. This is just a little show to give you a snippet of the first 49 lots going under the hammer. We'll be back for a net show, which will be lots 50 through to 99. Thanks for watching. We've sold thousands of lots to people willing to exchange on the day and complete within 28 days. Property auctions made quick, easy and simple. Clive Emson Land and Property Auctioneers.